welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be teaching you about if statement so if statement is very useful in python not only python in all kind of languages if statement is there if statement is used whenever we want to use condition so i'll explain with the help of example so directly i'll start a new program I click on file, new file, a new window and then simply I'll type here print. I want to make a program which can find whether the entered number is positive or not. So for that I will be taking one variable and variable I will be taking x, x is equal to integer I am taking integer then input please enter the number. one more bracket because two brackets have started now here i want to check the condition whether the entered number is positive or not so simply any number which is greater than 0 is positive number it's very simple for that i'll use if statement now the syntax of if statement is if i want to use if statement simply writing if bracket and in bracket I'll check the condition for example any number any block any condition that I'll type in then double dots this is the syntax and after that whatever command I want to execute that I'll be typing in front that means four spaces I have left automatically python will bring your cursor in the alignment where you are using the condition that means it will leave the four spaces blank so here i can execute my statement whatever statement i want to use i can write that statement and that will be executed okay so now simply to the program now i am giving the condition here if now according to the syntax I will go x greater than 0 just now I have told you if entered number is greater than 0 that means it should be positive so I will give the same condition bracket close and then after pressing the shift key double quotes and then I will execute the command if this statement is true my statement was if x is greater than 0 now if the user has entered the number which is greater than 0 and that condition is true that means if this condition is true then what should happen what I want to do that I will write here so simply I want to print here entered number is positive so it's so simple so everything comes here in this statement the condition was if x is greater than 0 so now x is greater than 0 if the number is greater then it will print this entire number is positive otherwise it will not do anything i hope it's clear i'll just check that also and simply at last i want to print one statement At last I want to execute one statement, I want to print one statement whether the number is positive or whether the number is negative. So simply I will bring my cursor at the start by pressing the backspace key and here I want to print numbers are positive 
which are greater than 0. Okay. So I hope so my program is okay and it should execute. Firstly, I will save this. Positive number the name I have given. Click on save. And uh, simply what I have to do, I have to press function key F5. A program to find whether the entered number is positive or not. So please enter the number. I will just enter 5. Entered number is positive and this last statement is also coming. Numbers are positive which are greater than 0. Again I will execute. At the bottom again I will go to my program, the other window. Again I have to press F5 key. So this time I will be entering some negative number. I will put minus 2 and just see nothing will be printed. Only the last statement that will be printed here. Numbers are positive which are greater than 0. But it has not printed that the number is positive because I have entered negative number and this negative number is not greater than 0. So I hope this condition is very much clear to you and you have learned how to use if statement. I will be giving some further examples also with the if statement. So with this I am closing my tutorial. Welcome students, as earlier I have explained you about if statement. Now continuing the same statement, one more example I am giving you. So this time I will be starting with a new file and I will print here. Actually I want to make a program to find whether the two entered numbers are equal or not. So simply I will print here. Just for that, I have to take two variables. You know all this procedure earlier also because many examples I have told you. X is my one variable. So, I will take integer input Now for y, now I will start with the condition. In my last tutorial, with if I have already explained the syntax of if, so simply I will start writing if. Now I have to compare the two variables, that means the two numbers which are entered and to compare what, which operator I will use. So I will be using if x is equal to, I have to write two times. Now when I am writing is equal to two times, that means I want to compare. This is the default syntax of Python language. So, I will type here y and then according to the syntax colon sign. So, I have already explained you that if we have to use if statement, then with if statement, the syntax says that we have to write double colon simple colon like with two dots ok and then for comparing two variables always we have to use is equal to sign two times. This is so I have used is equal to sign two times this is the default syntax of python language. 
so as i'll put double colon here and as i'll press enter key automatically indentation takes place and a cursor moves four spaces ahead now i i'll just want to print the statement or i want to execute the block according to my need but here uh, what i want to do here i want to stop start after indentation indentation means that it takes the cursor four steps forward now here it is ready to execute the block what i want execution means whatever statement or whatever command i want to execute that will be executed if this condition is true uh, simply what i want to do i want to print what the statement both the numbers are equal simple it is now i'll just save this desktop students so i'll just execute this program by pressing f5 function key enter the first number suppose i have entered the first number 7 second number also i'll press 7 let's see whether it's working properly so it is printing the statement that both the numbers are equal now i'll check once again i'll go back to my program again i'll press f5 function key this time i'll enter different numbers 5 7 and it will not print anything why it is not printing anything because it will not go inside this if statement it will only go inside this if statement if this condition is true that means if x and y values are true i hope my this program is very much clear and in this series i had made two programs earlier program with earlier program also i have explained the if and this program also if statement is clear to you now with this i am closing my tutorial and if you find my tutorial is helpful for you then please do like share and comment and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier okay bye bye meet you soon with my new tutorial